Well, hello again. I'm Pastor Kathleen Casper, and this is Living Word. Living Word is a teaching program which seeks to bring us closer and closer to our God as we study the Word that He has given to us, the Word revealed to us. We are currently in the Gospel of John. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Good and gracious Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise for the day. It is indeed a glorious, wonderful day that you have made. We rejoice and we are glad in it. And we rejoice in you, Heavenly Father. We thank you for your word. We thank you for the written word. We thank you for the word that became flesh and made his dwelling among us. Bless now this time together as we study John's gospel. We ask this in Jesus' name. Patrice's elderly next door neighbor became extremely sick. And Patrice offered that she and Aldo go over and pray for her. After Patrice finished praying, Aldo also had a turn. He started, Lord, please heal this lady 80%. No, no, let's make it 75%. After a long pause, he finally said, okay, Jesus, please heal her 70%. When Patrice told Aldo's mother this story, both women were somewhat surprised by this strange prayer request. They didn't know what to make of it. Later, Patrice told Aldo's mother that the Holy Spirit spoke to her heart and revealed that her neighbor still had some bitterness in her heart to deal with. The last 30% was in her hands and would be determined by the choices she makes. Aldo recognized the bitterness and he knew that this lady would have to forgive for the fullness of God's healing to come to her body, soul, and spirit. Aldo's mother, Rekha McPherson, goes on to write, Through this incident, I realized once again that willful, unrepentant sin withholds the fullness of the blessing from our lives. The Lord wants to heal and restore us 100%, but our choices limit the process. We have a part to play in everything. God waits for our choices, our seeds of faith, our repentance, our willingness to forgive, and our eagerness to live according to his word, and then he forgives us the way we forgive others. From this particular story of healing prayer and what we know from the Bible, we must understand that we have been given great authority in Christ to do much to manifest heaven on earth. However, we must do the work God sends us out to do as the Lord directs us to do it and not as we would like to do it. We are, after all, under God's authority and Jesus is the head of the church. Because this is so, we've got to be obedient and submitted to God at all times and in everything. 